Hey there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3. Today we take on the first of the four additional Robot Master stages, and we get to the bottom of what exactly is going on here in the Mega Man universe. And, you know, I think it'd be nice if we started where we left off and just took on Sparkman stage first and fight the mystery opponent at the end of that. So as you can see, we just drop right on in to Sparkman stage. And already we know that things are a little bit different. I mean, the platforming has gotten a little bit harder. We have to rely on our rush coil at this point. And it's kind of awesome how they did that because, yeah, I used Gemini Man for this part, the little pro tip. Um, but it's, it's kind of interesting how they did this because now that it's four additional stages, they know that you have all the rush components. So they're able to, you want to fill up Gemini Man too. They're able to uh, make the, the rush, you know, jet, the rush uh, coil, rush marine. They're able to make those extremely important aspects of these levels because they now know that you have all of them. In the past, they had to make them optional sections of the level because it wasn't guaranteed that you actually had any of the uh, Rush components yet. So it's kind of cool how they did that and they do make Rush a much bigger part of the other levels that we're going to be getting into here. Maybe not so much this one, but later ones that we're going to be fighting. Uh, become quite a big deal. Okay, so here we go guys. We're coming in to our first mystery opponent and it turns out that it is, that's right you guys, it is a metal man. Dr. Wily has r restored the spirits of the past eight robot masters into these new bodies. Oh man, man, usually you can do a lot better here. It's not good. But as you can see, uh, using into these robot bodies, and we have to defeat them again. And as you can see, Magnet Man is a pretty good power to use against uh, our good friend Metal Man here, because he stays stationary the entire fight and just moves uh, up and down. And the uh, Magnet Missile is heat seeking, uh, in you know up and in an up and down fashion, and it actually chases him and makes us be able to focus on dodging him rather than uh, attacking him and dodging him. So we get to just focus on one aspect of it instead of multiple, which makes the uh, fight with him quite a bit easier in my opinion. As you can see, he's not that hard to take on. But something very interesting has happened. We've defeated a Robot Master, but we're still in the stage. So there's still something here keeping us here, some evil force that we have to defeat. And we will discover what that is in just a moment. That's right, your first Robot Master is not the only thing that you have to defeat in this stage. There's quite a bit more than meets the eye here. And here we are at our second boss battle. Now, <laughs> this one, you've seen me do this before where I go into a boss battle with less than full health and I die on purpose the first time. And I do that because I'm worried about running out of the power that you're supposed to use, that is the uh, boss's weakness. And maybe most of the time that's overcautious of me, but I'll tell you something. This quick man fight, this is definitely a time where you want to do, you want to come into this fully loaded with absolutely everything you can. Now, as you can see here, he is fast as hell. He is just as fast and just as difficult as he was in Mega Man 2. So what you want to do first off is equip your Gemini laser. Yeah, that's right. We have to fight the fastest enemy in the game, in the Mega Man lexicon, with the most inaccurate weapon. Oh, I know. Get pumped. The other thing to note is that physically touching Quick Man is devastating to your life bar. You want to stay as far away from him as humanly possible while you get these shots off whenever you can. But if you can, much like Snake Man, you want to take a hit, oh god, from his boomerangs rather than from him. Because you can see that they just, no mercy. But we got him! Oh my god. That battle is extremely intense. It is very difficult. And don't worry if you die a bunch of times fighting him because he is a absolute nightmare. But as you can see, we have defeated our first additional Robot Master stage, taking on two of Mega Man 2's villains. 
And now you can see that that is going to be the theme for the remainder of the stages. Each stage is going to be a remix of the uh, Mega Man 3 villain stage with two additional enemies in each one, two robot masters from Mega Man 2. So this section of the game is extremely awesome. It is super cool. It's probably my favorite Mega Man effect, my favorite uh, thing that they do in the Mega Man series. Um, it's very exciting, very awesome, but the worst is over now that we've beaten Quick Man, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> it's definitely not easy from here out, but that Quick Man fight is really, really hard, really frustrating. It can be a really daunting thing to try and take on, especially since you have to use that Gemini laser. The important thing to realize is, just like our fight with Snake Man, get hit by his weapon blasts if you have the chance because just like search snake the quick boomerangs do much less damage way less damage than he does and if you can get hit by those and then use that moment of in invincibility to move past him and get a shot off you're going to be able to outlast him don't expect to uh perfect that okay that i'm I, i've never seen uh, maybe online somewhere someone is perfect to that fight that would be absolutely amazing to watch, I imagine, but don't expect that to happen. It's going to be a battle of whose life bar lasts longest. So just keep in mind that uh, getting hit by his weapon takes a little bit less life than getting hit by him. But it is also super fun. I mean, those fights, they're just so nostalgic, especially if you've played Mega Man 2 before you've played Mega Man 3. Just fighting these guys again is just super exciting and super awesome. Uh, the stages get a little bit harder from here on out. The Sparkman stage is surprisingly forgiving considering how difficult the uh, enemies at the end of it are. But you'll see how hard those stages become in future episodes. For right now, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by watching me play Mega Man 3. This really is one of my favorite games of all time. The more I play it, the more I remember how much I loved it as a kid. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the episode. If you did, feel free to head on over to my channel where I have a ton of Let's Play material for you to peruse at your leisure. But anyway, as always, thanks again for watching. I will see you next time.